Sorry, Will, I thought you plugged your bottom. You don't. Clean up on aisle <laughs> six. <laughs> She's not lying, like it's a 10. somebody more interesting and fun than like a fitness person because fitness persons are not interesting and fun. How about you do Will Tennyson? Great idea. No problemo. Got it. Well, the friends, when your dad tells you to do something, you do it. So in this video, I'm going to eat like Will Tennyson for the day. When you eat like Will Tennyson, you also got a joke like Will Tennyson. And we all know the kind of jokes that he makes. Ew, ew. I, I don't think we can show that. <laughs> so I'm gonna be following his cutting diet and routine video from January, and I'm gonna adjust it, adjust all the meals to fit my calories because I'm currently leaning out and trying to get in the best shape, and my current calories per day is 1,850. Now it's time for breakfast, and I'm super excited because these are all different meals. Like in any relationship, you constantly have to be switching things up or else your eyes are gonna start to wander and you might do something bad. And they're out of my comfort zone, so thanks, Will. Did you like that? Yeah, where'd you get that? Oh, well, I had it specially made because I wanted to be a gym shark model like Will Tennyson. So see, this is the dumbbell and the flex. Yeah, yeah, I got it. You know, like gym yeah. a shark. Did you happen to buy that off Wish? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for breakfast, I'm gonna attempt his waffle iron omelet. And this is really cool because I've made French toast in a waffle maker before, but I have never made an omelet. Have so you made waffles? Oh, of course, sassy. <laughs> so, I'm really excited about that, and I'm using some ingredients that I normally don't use, like Tex-Mex cheese. I don't often use, this is the great value version, since I'm the great value will <laughs> uh, of Frank's Red Hot Sauce to top it with. Never use that, and I'm excited. So we're gonna use some turkey bacon. He mixes eggs and egg whites together, which I do as well some cheese, some red pepper, and some onion, and then he tops his omelet with this. So I'm just basically gonna throw everything in the bowl and then heat up the waffle maker. Oh, little bit leaky, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> little leaky. You missed a piece of uh, bacon. Oh no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Bing. <laughs> uh-oh. I'm not Will. <laughs> Clean up on aisle six. <laughs> it's okay, I like it sloppy and messy anyway. <laughs> Let's it, see. It man. never stops dripping. Why isn't it stopping? Oh my goodness, what if this doesn't work? <laughs> what the heck? It's lifting the lid by oh, itself. Oh, it's waffling. <laughs> <laughs> what is with the leaking? Oh my goodness, it's binking over the sides everywhere. <laughs> okay. I think that it is cooked, and I'm going to attempt to transfer this onto a plate. Um, let's uh, let's see what I can do. Okay, are you ready? I'm just going for it. One, two, three. Whoa! Whoa! It almost worked! <laughs> I'm gonna top this off with some Great Value Frank's Red Hot and taste out my perfection <laughs> waffle maker omelet. We'll edit out just all the mess stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. So. This waffle iron omelet it, with the Frank's Red Hot is about 323 calories, probably a little less now because half of it dripped on the counter. <laughs> All right, I'm really excited about this actually. Hey, that turned out better than I was thinking at first. Mmm. Okay, you got all kinds of bacon and everything in there. Mmm. I need to use this more often. This actually flavors the eggs really good. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Um, the onion and the pepper and the turkey bacon go really good in that, and the Tex-Mex cheese, um, that's a good one. I, I don't know if he uses Tex-Mex, but we're using that for later, so I figured I'd throw it in here, too. Wow. Good idea, Will, with the waffle iron for eggs. I never thought about that. And next time, I won't put so much in the waffle. <laughs> I'm back from 
cardio and I am hungry for lunch. So I'm going to make Will's tofu burrito. He calls it a name that starts with an S that's related to the jokes he likes to make, but I don't think the algorithm will like if I say it. So we're calling this not the Will's tofu burrito, but the saucy tofu burrito. Now I'm like excited and scared at the same time because I've never eaten or used tofu before. So I'm pretty excited. I got the oven preheated at 400 degrees and what he did was he is going to mix some tofu, chop it up in pieces, put it in cornstarch and some soy sauce to flavor it and it's gonna cook for 25 to 30 minutes and get crispy. And then we're gonna use it as a filling in a burrito and make like a Thai peanut sauce that's low calorie. So I'm gonna start with the tofu and we'll see if I can be a lot smoother about this than I was with the uh, waffle iron. <laughs> so let, um, this is the extra firm. Well, it's starting out with a leak. Oh it's my like, gosh. <laughs> Me and leakage, apparently. <laughs> what is with the leakage? That's oh my goodness. How do you work this package? The theme of today, leakage. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna drain this. Okay, we are now drained, and I'm gonna blot it on some paper towels. I'm gonna- She is leaking everywhere. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm wiping up the counter and blotting the tofu at the same time. I'm gonna drain the excess moisture out of it and then chop it into pieces. I'm only gonna use six ounces, so three for me and three for Sassy because we're keeping it in our calories. Okay, squeak up the sides here and let's uh, see how she slices. So, we'll just, I think this is about sort of the sizage that he did. I'll just kinda eyeball it. Just go like this and I think he just basically tosses it and then we are doing the reduced sodium because we don't like to use full sodiums it bloats you up a bit this I think is gonna flavor the tofu up pretty nicely and then basically you just kind of do this just coat it up and then we'll put it on this sheet we lined a baking sheet with um hopefully this is how we did it probably not probably not but you know what let's uh this is why we're the great value version of Will. <laughs> this looks like some 1984 ham. <laughs> All right, we're doing six tablespoons of powdered peanut butter. Got a little bit of garlic in there that we sauteed. Three tablespoons of water. So a tablespoon of this rice wine vinegar. And we don't know if this is actually rice wine vinegar. It just says rice vinegar. Yeah, is this rice wine vinegar? Let me know. <laughs> We're winging it. And two tablespoons of the soy sauce. And then he said a teaspoon of either sriracha or chili paste. And then a quarter cup of almond milk. And then he said when you stir it, it's gonna be pretty runny, but it thickens. So we'll just uh, check it out here. Ding, 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 ding. Don't use a whisk or a fork. Use a spoon, right? It's yeah. Well, hard. we've proven we've proven that I don't know what I'm doing today. <laughs> okay, so our tofu we took out at 20 minutes. It actually does look pretty crispy, and I'm gonna put it on one of these whole wheat tortillas. Okay, it hasn't really thickened, but that's okay. We're just gonna drizzle this over top. I'm just gonna give a good amount here. 382 calories. And he didn't say this in the video, but I noticed he had a sparkling water beside his wrap. So I found these at Zayers in Canada, and there are three different flavors. Watermelon, uh, peach, and, oh, peach mango, and then coconut pineapple. So I think Sassy and I are gonna split one of these. All right. Okay, let's uh, let's see here. Yeah, we'll just uh, go for it, right? Let's do like this. All right. <laughs> Crossing your will, I'm a little scared. Ooh. Spillage, fold it over. Mmm. Wow. Okay. It takes on the flavor that you cook it with, um, with the wrap and the sauce. It's actually pretty good. Kind of like an egg texture, actually. Pretty good. Okay, 
I, I, I'm actually not, I'm thinking it's pretty good actually. Hmm. Doing some core <laughs> exercises. I'm trying. Oh my gosh, these are, why are these so hard? Oh gosh, we need a, uh oh, broke it. <laughs> Always remember to plug your bottom. Mixture. Okay, I'm just gonna put some brown, some sugar-free brown sugar and cinnamon mixture. Divide it between two Granny Smiths. This will be a great dessert, I think. Yeah, I think so. I don't know if Will plugged his bottoms or not, but I did. Okay, gonna top it with teaspoon, half a tablespoon of raisins and then a teaspoon of unsalted butter and put it in the oven at 400 degrees. All right, teaspoon of unsalted butter going on the top, just like so. Oh, I just realized something. Oh my gosh. You don't plug the bottom. He puts it in a shallow pan with some boiling water. I forgot that step. Okay, so sorry, Will. I thought you plugged your bottom. You don't. We pour a little bit of boiling water in the bottom of the pan, he said, just a little bit, enough to cover the bottom. And then I think that the brown sugar and stuff will cook in the oven and make like a sauce that we can drizzle over top of the baked apples when they're done. Okay, so we decided to have the apple as a snack before dinner. I just finished my shoulder workout and I'm doing a 2% Greek yogurt, half a cup plus like a tablespoon and a half in order to get to my calories. <laughs> he sprinkles his Greek yogurt with a little bit of cinnamon. Whoa. Ding -a -ding. So the baked apples made like a sauce. We ended up baking them for 30 minutes. Okay, so it makes like a sauce, so I'm gonna scoop some of this up, and he like cool. drizzles, yeah, he like drizzles it. it. Smells amazing. It really does. Drizzles it over top. Squeak. Whoa. Mmm. Okay, so let's cut into that. Wow, look at that, it's cute. Take a bite. I'm gonna eat it without the yogurt first. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's like apple pie without the crust. Or the calories. <laughs> or the calories, oh my gosh, that's amazing. That looks great. And that's sugar-free brown sugar. So the friends, the baked apple with my Greek yogurt is gonna be about 258 calories for the whole thing. Sassy had a good idea to put some of that syrup on the yogurt. Oh yeah, a sneaker, but this might be my favorite meal. Hmm. Okay, so for dinner, we're having, it is called Mexican chicken dip, and Will has it with Quest protein chips, but we don't have easy access to those here, so I made my own by spraying one of these um, sea salt and pepper flat outs, which has protein in it, with some a little bit of taco seasoning and a little bit of cooking spray, sliced it with a pizza cutter into triangles, and baked it at 350 for 10 minutes. I flipped them halfway through. So those are my protein chips. And this is the chicken dip. It's got zucchini, corn, taco seasoning, diced tomatoes, chicken, onion, red pepper, and we're gonna top it with cheese in a minute. It also has cumin, and I was laughing because when he added it in the video, I thought he said human, and I'm like, what kind of spice is that? No, cumin, Nicole, cumin. <laughs> this is the cheese all weighed out. He broils it on at the end, but we're just deciding to do it like that. And with the chips and the cheese, the whole shenanigans, what do you call that? The whole everything? Shebang. Shebang. Um, 
523 calories and Will said he puts dinner as his biggest meal. His was like 900 I think, but for me, 523 calories. So, my chips got pretty crispy. Let's take some of everything. Hey, these chips worked out pretty good. Quick fix if you don't have the Quest. Mmm. Mmm. That is really good. That's an amazing low calorie Mexican dip. His girlfriend, Katie, in the video, she said it was a 10. She said, cause you look like you wanted a 10, but she's not lying like it's a 10. Wow, I thought the baked apple one, this is very close. Wow, this is good. Last meal of the day. So Will said he usually has either a protein bar, anabolic ice cream, or cereal. I'm gonna combine the two, anabolic ice cream, and top it with cereal, because that's actually the snack I have every single night. So this works out perfect. Um, Will though, is cho he chose cereal, and he has magic spoon cereal. I don't have that, but I do have magic cola cereal, which is that. <laughs> it's the worst. <laughs> Magic Colas, also known as regular Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal, half a cup. I made my anabolic ice cream with one of my current favorite Hoodult or Harder Than Last Time flavors, Luckier Marshmallow. I am actually sponsored by Hoodult. Check out the link down below if you want proteins. This stuff actually makes anabolic ice cream super creamy. So the total for this entire bowl with the half a cup of Cinnamon Toast Crunch is 363 calories. My total for the day was 1,849 calories, 150 grams of protein, 54 grams of fat, and 195 grams of carbs. I made it as close to my regular calories and macros as I possibly could, and I just want to say like thanks so much Will for making videos like your full day of eating where you show really cool meals that anyone dieting would love and actually look forward to eating. I enjoyed the entire day. Um, the tofu burrito scared me a bit but it was actually way better than I thought. But the ones I'll be making again, the recipes, that baked apple with the Greek yogurt and the sauce, I will be making that again and the chicken Mexican dip. Again, for sure I'll be making that. Um, and one more thing, Will, remember when we share the same dad and we're in the same cookbook, Power 13? Um, wouldn't it be cool if we could do a collab if we lived in the same area? Too bad we don't. Oh wait, we do live in the same area. <laughs> <laughs> so the friends, if you wanna see Will and me do a collab together. Get on his social media. Also watch him and subscribe if you haven't to his channel yet already. But get over to all his social media and tell him, Will, do a collab with Nicole Collette. You live in the same area. And you share a dad in a cookbook. Do it, okay? okay. Um, and if you don't know, I have lost 130 pounds and I've kept it off for seven years. If you wanna know exactly what I ate to lose my first and next 50 pounds, I have two weight loss guides. The links for those are down below if you want to check them out. We, I also have a brand new guilt-free cookbook which has anabolic ice cream recipes in it. It is low calorie versions of all your favorite foods. You get the taste without the guilt and extra cows. What? Links down there. The link for these is also down below. Check it all out. Or you can watch these two videos for free to find out how I make weight loss easy and fun. And now we're gonna show Will when he's watching this video my unicorn flippers, my trusty old slippers. He's not watching this video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's gonna watch it and he's gonna get some magic cola cereal. <laughs> yeah. Sponsor you from here, bud. And yeah, one more out. One, two, three. Rah, 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 rah. Beam, PG for YouTube, shake it. Whoa. Shake it till your mama made it. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Don't worry, well, we'll do that in our collab. <sighs> Love you guys, thanks for watching. Peace out. Catch ya in the next vid where we're gonna get leaner but not mean. -er. <laughs> Love ya. See ya. Bye guys. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Bye through it. 
You can do it. Don't give up.